A common repair issue that you will find with horn uh, is that of broken sp strings. If you haven't taken a look at your horn, uh, you'll notice that when I push down the spatula, the, uh, the string that is tied to the spatula pulls the rotor and causes it to rotate. If, as has happened on the second uh, rotor, the string is broken, when I push that spatula down, uh, the rotor no longer moves. It's a quick and easy repair that you can do um, for your students with just a couple of tools. First and most importantly, um, horn string. There's a variety of different uh, strings that you can purchase um, out there. Most of them are going to be a multi-filament string, um, a standard head stru screwdriver, and a pair of scissors. So first things first, we're going to remove our old string. We do that uh, by loosening the screw that is on the side of the spatula, untwisting the string from it, and then the small screw that is on the rotor. Now it's important that as we do this, um, we don't loosen the center axle um, rotor. That will loosen up the entire rotor and uh, cause the rotor to become out of line. All we want to do is release the uh, string. Once I've loosened that, that string comes straight out. You're now going to take your um, horn string and you're going to cut a length of it uh, that's longer than what you're going to need. I really encourage you to leave a little extra space there. Now, ideally you want um, the smallest string that is going to do the job, and these come in a variety of different um, widths. Um, if it doesn't fit uh, this string that I have in particular here, I uh, will actually go straight through the hole that's in the side of my spatula, so I'm just going to do a double knot in it uh, to make sure that it does not slip. And once I have that in place, I'm going to thread that through the hole at the top of my rotor spatula. There we go. Give it a nice tug to make sure that it'll stay in place. We're now going to make a figure eight around the axle and the side screw. Um, so that comes up even with the side of our spatula. We're going to wind it around that side screw. So I've come up, figure eight around the back side. I've come back around that side screw. And now I go around the center axle again. So I've completed a full figure eight. We're now going to thread the end of our string through the hole that is in the side of the bottom of our rotor, or of our uh, spatula. And we're going to take our string and wrap it around the screw that is on top of the spatula. So if we follow the string, it starts up here at the top hole, comes down, around the axle, around the side screw, around the axle again to the hole in the base of the rotor spatula to the screw on the, the mounting screw on the spatula. We're going to tighten down that screw. We may end up adjusting it again later, but for right now we're going to tighten it down so that we don't lose it. We now, before we do anything else, want to double check that our um, spatulas are even. As you can see on this horn, uh, the spatulas right now are not of even height. My center one's a little high. So I'm going to depress that down, and while holding that down, I'm going to make sure that that rotor lines up all the way at the bottom of um, the rotor casing closest to the um, slides. That's going to make sure that um, when I'm not depressing the spatulas, uh, the rotor is in open position, not uh, engaging the second valve slide. And we're going to tighten down that side screw to hold that string in place right there. That side screw is going to make sure that one, when I depress the spatula, um, the rotor moves, and second, it's going to make sure that my spatulas are even height. Now, when I press down that center spatula, my rotor rotates again, and I'm set to go, and my horn is good. Uh, before I snip the, um, the string, I want to make sure that both of those screws are fully tightened down. Um, if they're loose, those strings are going to uh, slip. And then we're going to take the extra remaining string and just snip it off. And we are all set and good to go to play this horn again.